to perform Scriabin in 2022 for the 150th anniversary of the composer's birth, it imposes from the very outset an all comprehensive approach towards the visionary scope of his work. In order to approach and understand Scriabin's music at its true value, this implies understanding the essence of its mysterious and esoteric dimension. One cannot consider his interpretation without observing the multiple expressive indications in French that run throughout his course with eloquence. A conception seeking only to be literal in regards to a view of an abstract form of objectivity would be vain and sterile. Isn't it the ultimate goal of Scriabin's music, the transfiguration of the cosmos into ecstasy for art? <laughs> Mustn't forget that Scriabin was obsessed by the notions of unity, symmetry, and geometric proportions for the structure of his works. For as long as I can remember, Scriabin has been one of my favorite composers. I wanted to offer a broad overview of the evolution of his style in a chronological way. The last period has a special place and will always remain one of the most visionary illustrations in the history of music and piano literature, that of a genius who prematurely passed away at the age of 43, having had established a revolution in musical language of the 20th century. <laughs>